Hi, this is Rachel Stone with Commonwealth Computer Training in Richmond, Virginia, and I'm talking about the Presenter View in PowerPoint 2013. Now, the Presenter View is a view just for the presenter's computer where they can see more details about the presentation that they're delivering to an audience. Now, the audience just sees the slide, but the presenter can see additional information like upcoming slides, speaker notes, and more. So I'll show you a couple of quick ways to get into the presenter view. The quickest way is the Alt F5 shortcut on your desktop. And I'll press that now. And that jumps me directly into my presenter view. Here you can see, um, I can see the slide I'm on now. My upcoming slide. Here's my speaker notes, which is just, I just use the word speaker notes in there. I have a few other buttons to assist me with my presentation. Now my audience doesn't see this, they only see the current slide. I have buttons to annotate my presentation, so I'll click this pen and I can mark on it. Now if you draw in your presentation and you don't want those marks there anymore, um, and go ahead and get rid of them while you're presenting, you can press the letter E on your keyboard and that will erase uh, this button will actually zip me out to see all of the slides in my presentation and I can quickly jump to another one. And I'll just single click it. You also have a zoom button here. With that you can zoom in to a particular element of a slide. So I'll hit zoom. Notice as I wave my mouse around, you'll see the little zoom box highlighting sections of the slide. And I'll just click here, see it zooms to that side. And then with a right click, just a quick tap on the right mouse, it zips me back out to full screen view. This button allows me to take the screen to a black screen. Let's say if you're going on break, you can hit this button, screen goes dark, and then when you come back from break, you click it again, and your slideshow resumes. This last button takes you to a few extra options, and uh, including end show, which let's go ahead and hop out. And I'll show you another way to get into your presenter view. Uh, I do want to make a note that my laptop is currently not hooked up to a projection system, um, so it's only running just solo right here. Now I'm going from um, my home tab, I'm going over to my slideshow tab. I'll restart my slideshow uh, from the beginning. And this takes me to the slide view, which is the same view that my audience would see. And if I want to hop into my um, presenter view, you see there's a series of buttons down at the bottom of the screen. They're very light. They're almost invisible. Um, this takes me to my previous slide, next slide. Again, I have the button to um, annotate my slide. I have the button to zip out where I can see all of my slides. I have the zoom button option. And then this is my options button that takes me to show presenter view. So I can jump back into it. Now I'll go ahead and um, go back to this button, options button we saw earlier. I'll go to uh, hide presenter view. So I'm back to this view again. And I'll just show you a couple of these buttons that we looked at a moment ago. So I've got the pen button here. Now before I went to pen, but this time I'll try the um, highlighter and highlight some text. I'm not much of a drawer here. Uh, and again, you can press E on your keyboard to erase those markers. I'll go back to the pen. To the, excuse me, to the highlighter, change it to a pen. And I could actually immediately select another um, pen color. Let's see, I like the purple. And I'll go up and, you know, mark on that with the purple. And again, with my uh, zoom button that zooms me out to see all of the slides, select another slide. And then I've got the uh, zoom button if I want to zoom in on a particular topic. And then right click to zoom out again. I'm going to press escape to exit my show completely. It asks if I want to keep any annotations I've made. I don't. I'll discard. And that was just a quick look at the presenter view in PowerPoint 2013. This is Rachel Stone. Thanks and have a great day.